We have a brand new teaser from Toyota with a lot of little fun Easter eggs in it. And did Toyota let us know when the reveal date would be? Mikey, tell them where they're at. Howdy, I'm Mike Swears, Chief Engineer of Tundra, and you're watching Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video and or a live stream, especially videos like this, which are time sensitive material. This is a brand new teaser to go with all those other 2022 Tundra teasers we've seen so far. They've gotten better and better along the way. And today is awesome. It is about a 12 second video. I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to overthink it and I'm going to break it down. And then I'm going to show you something at the end where I think Toyota gave away their reveal date. Now, while you're watching the video, see if you could find what I'm talking about. Honor system, go below the video and tell me if you found uh, what I'm talking about as far as the reveal date goes. So without further ado, here is the brand new teaser from Toyota about the 2022 Toyota Tundra. Check it out. Okay, now we're going to break down the video a little bit and kind of go over it frame by frame. So let's start with the seats. Of course, this is the TRD Pro. And one of the things people have been saying since these uh, teasers started to come out, especially when they actually revealed the total look of the truck, is you're either a fan of the red seats or you're not. Just because uh, the seats are red in this particular TRD Pro, which is a white exterior, it doesn't mean all the seats will be red, I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure there'll be other color options, you know, like black, hopefully some kind of 1794 tan, something like that. Uh, but for this model right here, we're looking at the seats. And if you look at it, it kind of has a little camo look to it as well. Uh, as we saw on the exterior, the front bumper of the 2022 TRD Pro Tundra. Another thing to look at here is they're perforated, it looks like, which is awesome because on the current generation TRD Pro, they are not. It is just straight rugged leather. Uh, when we go over to the next picture, you will see that they still sew TRD Pro in the seat, just like the current generation, but you could tell me which one you like better. It looks like the TRD Pro is a little bit bigger on the next gen, but who could really tell? There's still some white stitching to go along with it. If you look in the current gen, um, it's red stitching, uh, but I do like that perforation. It really makes it uh, look a lot more modern, and hopefully we get some kind of heated and cooled operation uh, they do have the heated in the current generation, but not the cool. That would be neat, especially for this crazy price point these trucks are at. All right, so we panned through, and I thought you guys would really like this one because we talked about this, and we really hoped there'd be something in it, and I paused it right at the right time. As you will see, there is a little knob. I was afraid there wasn't going to be a crawl control like they offer in the Tacoma and the 4Runner. Well, it looks like I was completely wrong, and I'm totally happy about it. It just seems to be down by the shifting lever. And if you look at this picture, you're going to see a knob in the middle to probably shift through everything. That knob might have something to do with your infotainment center as well. Who knows? We have drive mode, tow haul mode, crawl control, and multi-terrain select. So those are some good options. We talked about it for a long time. Should have been on the Tundra as it is on the 4Runner and the Tacoma. So there you go, an option everybody was talking about that we should have. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this last part of the video. And what they're trying to show you here is we're going to get some wireless charging stock in the Tundra, which is awesome. So uh, I know when I had my 2017, I went to Sparks Parts and I ended up putting in the wireless charger myself, but it looks like it's coming standard with the TRD Pro. I don't know if it will be on other models. I'm sure it will be. And it looks like it's uh, actually not a flat surface. It's kind of sitting up so you could still use your phone. But as I play this part of the video, this is what I want you guys to pay attention to right here. They show the way the wireless charger works, which we all know by this point, but they really focus at the end on that phone. And it stays on the phone for a while. And if you look on the phone, it says 919. All right. Now, if you have an Apple iPhone, you probably know by now that is where the time of day is. But the, the, the way they stay on that phone so long makes me think that September 19th may be the reveal date. I may be overthinking it. I may be totally wrong. But once again, I'm going to play this video. Just take a look. Yes, they show the wireless charger. But then when the person puts the phone on the charger and it starts to charge, they really hang on to that phone, showing you the image on the phone a lot longer 
than if you're just trying to show a wireless charger, maybe overthinking it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. But September 19th, could that be the date we finally see the Toyota Tundra? So to recap real quick with this teaser, they gave us quite a bit. Toyota also released uh, a little write-up in a news release. I'll read it now. Plano, Texas, July 27th, 2021. With a host of innovative new features and next level interior refinement, here's a quick glimpse of some of what the all new 2022 Toyota Tundra will offer. More to come when the Tundra is fully unleashed this fall. So there you go. This is just another video in a line of other videos, but this shows us what the TRD Pro seat is gonna look like. Um, let me know what you think about that, of course. It also shows us that we're gonna get that multi-terrain select. We're gonna get the crawl control. Tow haul is going to return. And, you know, I'm just, I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to see the full interior all at once. Uh, and then last but not least, that wireless charger and maybe getting a reveal date of the next generation Tundra, which as far as this phone says, would be September 19th. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, like I said, we keep getting these teasers. It almost seems like every two weeks on a Tuesday morning is when these teasers come out. I'm sure a lot of you guys are pumped up about this. I know I am. And I know most of you are going to say this in the comments below, just show the truck already. But listen, if they're not going to show the truck yet, at least they're giving us something to play with us a little bit so we could break it down and have a good time with it. Um, and they're really starting to get better and better as all of these different um, teasers come out. I mean, what have we seen so far? I know I'm going to forget one. We saw the dark room with the front, the headlights, the LED light bar, all the lights come on on the 2022 Tundra. Um, and then they went off. That was the first teaser. Uh, number two, like I said, I know I'm going to forget. I think we saw the iForce Max where the Max had the outline in blue, which we, makes us think that it's a hybrid, which is awesome. Uh, number three, they ended up just revealing the look of the truck because of a leak um, and the truck looked awesome. And we broke that down about 800 times. Every little bit of that truck, we were breaking down parts, looking in the window, seeing what was there. The next thing they released to us was a shot of the interior facing out of the truck to show us the top of a very big infotainment screen. Driver side grab handle has returned. JBL sound system was there. Um, and then the final one before this, we saw that it's gonna have a panel roof and happily we are going to get the return, hopefully in not just the crew max, but probably just the crew max of that power roll down rear window. And then we have today's with the seats and some of the interior features going on. So it's getting better and better. So I say this at the end of all of my videos. When we talk about this next generation Tundra, you're going to have to let me know. What do you think the next teaser will be? Maybe in two weeks, maybe in two days, maybe in two months. I don't know. What do you think the next teaser will be? Some of you say suspension. Some of you say more detail on uh, infotainment, more detail on the engine. I totally just want to see the truck. I really want to see what, what's that uh, rear suspension all about because we're seeing a lot of camouflage on the test mules that were going around. So I'm really anxious to just kind of see what's that. I'm also ready to see some of the other trims out there, not just the TRD Pro, just to see what we're going to end up with. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait. So once again, let me know what you think about. What's your favorite teaser? Let's go with that. What is your favorite teaser of all of them that's come out so far? And you can't say the shot of the complete TRD Pro Tundra truck because that's gonna be everybody's favorite because that was awesome just to see the actual full outside shot of the Tundra. So, will you be buying a TRD Pro next generation Tundra? Will you be buying another trim of the next generation Tundra or are you content with what is in your driveway right now? A 14 and up or an 07 to 13 Toyota Tundra? Let us know in the comments below. I'm happy to bring you these videos. Like I said, I hope the reveal date is September 19th, because that at least gives us an actual day we can be pumped up for. We all wanna see the truck. I wanna see it, I'm gonna see it when you guys see it. We're gonna make a video and have a good time with it. But until then, September 19th is still a little more than a month away, about a month and a half. I hope they give us better teasers, good teasers, and keep going with this. I thank Toyota for putting something out here and there, just so we have something to play around with. But until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Thank you for being here. Check out the playlist section, especially my 2022 Next Generation Tundra playlist. You can see all the rumors we've been talking about for years, because it has been years now that we've been um, you know, talking about what we're expecting on the Next Generation Tundra. I can't wait till it comes out. Then we can go back to that playlist and see where we were right and where we were wrong. So until next time, have a great day. Be safe and be well. Thank you very much for watching.